my camera. So Township Parks and Recreation Board meeting agenda, uh, Thursday, May 5th, 2022. In attendance, board members, Dan Ewig, Arden Staff, Wendy Johnson, Stephanie is not here tonight, Barb Russman, and Jason Wheeler. Uh, nobody on telephone, nobody absent, oh, Stephanie's absent. Township representatives, Jack King, guest, we do have a guest today. Meeting, oh, I wouldn't say guest, we do have people in attendance today. <laughs> Meeting called to order at 6.32. Do we have any public comments? No public comments. Agenda items. Uh, we're going to do the approval for the meeting minutes from April 7, 2022. I'll make a motion. Second. Jason, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Jack, do you have a financial status update for us? We do have the potential of going over 120 this year. Um, Jason and I are going to have to plan um, diligently to fit everybody in. Uh, we um, also got the application for Hermes today. So, um, like I mentioned, 50, 5687, that's with the discounted fees. Um, we have a total of uh, 3750 on sponsorships. Um, no, we have 9,150 on sponsorships, 3,750 are earmarked for the fall festival. So um, there should be a breakdown in your packet of the sponsorships as of now. So um, when we get to the contracts later, uh, we'll talk about that. Um, they just keep coming in. Uh, the, the money just keeps coming in. So it lo looks good. We're covering everything now with uh, sponsorships and app fees. Okay, moving on, uh, review of the Easter egg hunt. Um, for the weather was kind of crummy, otherwise I think everything went very well. Um, the, even in the cold weather, people were lining up for the balloon lady and the uh, tattoos, so both of those were a huge hit um, to add on to what we already stacked on. Does anybody have anything on that? Nope, everybody had a good time. Good. Or you make a good bunny rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, can I uh, ask what we're going to do with the extra excess um, bags and that kind of stuff? Um, our plan is to give those away at Touch a Truck. Um, we have, I believe, 74 bags. No, 150. 150 bags still left over? Okay. I think next year we do need to hammer down on the registration. I think some people are kind of walking past registration. Um, that's where we're giving all the bags away. Either way, they're going to go at Touch a Truck. Um, we'll give them out at Touch a Truck as well. Um, to make sure, um, you, we usually have well more than 150 kids at Touch Truck, so that's uh, our plan as of right now. Review the fishing derby. Um, not a whole, I mean, so we still had how many kids that registered and no-showed? Uh, we had 70-some register. Yeah, I think well, I, I thought we, we cracked 81 at one point. Yeah. For and registration. For How registered? many were no shows? Like 16, I thought you 16 said. 16 kids. Yes. So, so that's actually roughly 65. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad considering some of the previous numbers we've had. So that was really good. Um, I, that's probably going to be about our max count um, unless we find more spots. I mean, we'll see what happens next year when they, where they redo the stream and stuff. So um, we may have to switch things up a little bit next year. Um, other than that, the fish – we're okay. Um, the fish are great, but I think next year we're going to switch out to um, more numbers. We'll do some, a little bit smaller fish. Um, that'll give, increase the kids' chances. So, Other than that, I think um, we might be able to stock the night before according to our permit, but it's going to be a lot of work to close off the sections of stream. Yeah. So um, it would be a lot of work, but the fish would be more 
inclined to eat uh, as soon as the start of the fishing derby is. So we'll play by ear next year. Something to plan about, something to think about. Does anything, anybody have anything else on the derby? No, just my neighbor. Um, did you, I don't know if you talked with the Monicos. They just, just couldn't say enough good things about it. Hmm. Stephanie, and then they won a fishing rod at the end. His wife, he never, his son never caught a fish, but then his wife just like scooped one up. <laughs> Two things on that, Dan. Um, is there any uh, final uh, reason why they were so late with the fish? So late? Yeah, they had a driver cancel on them. That guy, that guy, the driver that was there um, to that day also had another stop to do. Um, they did have one driver that was specifically coming towards us, um, but he ended up okay. canceling. So they did let me know about a week ahead of time. So, uh, Second point, we still have some unclaimed prizes. Uh, three of the orange fishing rods. I think there's a tackle box or something or a spool or something in my office. So um, several people have come in and claimed their prizes. Uh, if you want, I can have Teresa call them again to see if they'll uh, come get them. Uh, if they don't, then you know we'll save them for next time. No, that sounds good. So um, why don't you, maybe if they see it coming from the township, maybe they will be more inclined to answer. So uh, if you can't have Teresa give them a phone call on the numbers that they provided. Sure. If they're go unclaimed, we'll just use them in prizes for next year. Sounds what good. What about that one that the person came in and? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I went back down the uh, concession stand. It was laying um, on the side. Oh, okay. So it must have rolled off the box. I called her back and... Uh, I uh, apologize profusely. It was a um, it was a fly fishing rod. It was a uh, very nice fly fishing rod. Mm -hmm. And she came down the next day, happy as can be. So okay. two of her three kids got something. So Good to hear. Sorry, I didn't follow up on that. All right. Um, Is somebody unhappy about, like, not having a sponsorship sign or something? Can you talk to your microphone? Was there somebody unhappy about not having a sponsorship sign? Click your button. Sign? Or... I believe uh, it was always moving. Huh? I mean, always safe. Yeah, uh, Bill Schifoni uh, mentioned something, but um, I think it was resolved. I think it's Jason resolved. Was, he he he. When he gave his donation, he misunderstood the donation letter, thinking if he gave five hundred dollars, he'd be on every on every event. He signed up for the fall festival donation, which I think is oh, a gold okay. five hundred. Five hundred bucks. Yeah. So he, he's fine. He he just he, he had it misunderstood. In your packets, there should be a breakdown of uh, every all the sponsors right now, so you can see where um, where it was earmarked. Range is the only one that gave something for every every event. Um, some gave only to the fishing derby. Most gave all to the their uh, fall festival. Um, and I'm gonna let Dan, Dan talk about the uh, sponsorship uh, sign we're gonna have made. Did we get a picture of anybody next to the range sign? We were gonna send to Christina. Darlene got pictures of the signs. Was there anybody standing beside them, Darlene? Yeah, she got a picture of them. But okay, yeah, we were going to try to get somebody with a fish next to the range sign and send to her, but then nobody had a fish. Yeah, nobody really kept saying. kept as much fish. Like, Back in. Yeah, <laughs> last year a lot of people kept, and this year not a whole lot of people kept, so. Okay. Okay, now uh, moving on, uh, how does the new sign ordinance affect the fall festival signs? Obviously on personal property, this does not affect, and obviously we can do our banners. Um, but as the big signs go, we're gonna hold off on those. The uh, ones on the wire? Um, yeah. The H, H uh, brackets and that type of thing, yeah. Those are, again, those are allowed on private property. Like if you go out here, um, out of the parking lot, um, Adumski's property right at, right across the street, that would be private. It can't be in the right-of-way. That's what's been the problem with uh, these signs. People are putting them up, especially the builders. What they're doing is they're coming in after 4 o'clock on Fridays, putting them up all over the place, right? They're gone by 8 o'clock Monday. That's when the or ordinance kicks in. 8, 8 a.m. Monday morning to 4 p.m. Friday. Okay, so um, they're getting around it. That's why you see them tacked up on telephone poles and, and stuck everywhere. Gone by Monday morning. So they're not uh, violated or they're not fined for anything. Um, we can go with the, uh, the signs. I think what we have to do is get a little more creative. Um, the uh, H bracket signs just, I mean, they're, we went around a couple times with the Boy Scouts, you know, and <clears throat> the argument always comes down to where is the right of way? It's gonna be a, a, 
it's going to be an argument between code enforcement and whoever puts it. So um, there's other ways to, to advertise. Um, I know that we talked about putting the boxes uh, in, and I'll talk about that in a little bit um, whenever Dan you know, wants me to. Um, I, I say let's, let's look for an alternative form of advertising. Well, the thing is, if we put them outside of Cecil, because, I mean, people in Cecil go on the website, go on the Facebook page. But, like, if we want to get people from, like, Hickory, South Fayette, wherever, like McDonald, like, they don't have the ordinance. Like, we can stick them. Well, um, we had an issue with Hickory coming down and, and posting, like, last year when they had nine to ten signs on the left side of the marquee. They were all trying to put it in front of each other so that people would see it coming around the turn our code enforcement officer went out and took them out. Now, if they see a Cecil sign over there, guarantee they're gonna do the same thing, right? They're gonna disappear. And um, If you, know, you ask, I mean, I've stuck them in places at McDonald's. If you ask a business and they say absolutely. yes, then. A absolutely, yeah, I you mean, know. if you ask and they say yes, that's fine, okay? Then, you know, if the code enforcement officer, now this is the process for code enforcement. If they find it in Cecil Township in a right away, he's gonna pull it, it's gonna stay in the back of his car for 30 days. If nobody comes and claims it, he's going to have it destroyed. Okay, basically, he's going to throw it away. So, so um, we don't the, put them in Cecil. Mm -hmm. So we just don't put them in Cecil in public property. On the right away. Right. How big are they? They're like, they're like two foot by two foot. A yeah. Yes. We have, there's actually two different sizes. There's. Three of them right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's on private property, we are allowed to post. I keep one in my yard, too, so absolutely anybody that uh, would like a sign, I think we should, um, we'll probably get a little bit closer to it, and then we'll um, discuss about if we need new signs, if we want to do a different color and stuff, too, um, for sure. And we can still put one, like, at that big intersection, like, at 79 and, like, at the Bridgeville exit? That's like, the one I got pulled. I had that one up there, and he pulled that one. They pulled it, or I thought it blew they, away. Or something. They pulled it. Oh, okay. Plus, they pulled it and know. it came back. <laughs> Can't put it there. Okay. <laughs> Plus, with the construction that's going to be going on there. Uh, you know, I don't think we ever asked them. That's a good place. Yeah. We have we have a couple of them that we hang out so. Yeah, the trussle okay. right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. okay. I have seen them hang other things there before, but I, did, I didn't know how far out, you know, they, they if they would hang that for us. But that's something I could uh, talk to the Bureau about. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. Awesome. And we're going to give Darla three of them. Three signs. Okay, moving on. 2022 events. Um, we're going to get an update from the, each of the project leads. The Touch of Truck is our next event coming up on May 14th, 2022. Uh, Jason and Wendy. Yeah, I, th I know, Jack, I think you have 12, I think, on your list right now. I reached out to Greens the other day. They said they replied. I don't have anything from Greens. They're, they're usually here. Uh, they bring a wrecker and um, something else. Um, and it's always a, you know, it's always a nice and big, so, but I have heard nothing from Greens. Yeah, I, I, I called her, what was that, Monday-ish, I think. She said they sent the form in. Um, okay. If anything, I'll, I'll have them do a form again. Yeah. yeah um, but they said they're on for it. I said Did they doing. tell you what they're bringing? I'm sorry? Did they tell you what they're bringing? They, she didn't say yet. Okay. Um, well, if you got them on the phone, also ask them about a rate for shuttling for... Fall festival. Fall festival. Instead of using the big school buses, they do have that one smaller shuttle bus. Yeah, I think that would be a lot more convenient to get around these parking lots. That's yeah. what they brought last year and parked it. Right, I can yep. do that. yeah. That's fine. I'll do that. Um, of course, Paula, she was gracious enough. She's going to send a cement <laughs> truck. Don't work on that. Okay. Um, <laughs> or anything else cool you can possibly send over, that would be great. Um, MSI, you still get to try to work on that number? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, that's the number he gave me, and it's so. Yeah, I'm gonna. It's uh, almost like it's not a fax line, but it rings once and it just goes busy. So yeah. I don't know. So um, I'll follow up on that. I did. I did talk to uh, with McGain and Chester. Yeah. Um, McGain. Yeah, there. He offered to bring a, a tractor trailer if you want the trailer or not. I don't know if you want the whole trailer. He said some people don't because it's 
you know, Too kids big. can't play in it. But it's you know, you got a forty three foot trailer sitting there. <laughs> but you know, that's up to if you guys want to maybe bring something like that, they can. We had one last year. Yeah, who was it? Okay, that was, was the driving school we had there last year. Was that Western Area? It no, it was no, Penn Commercial. Penn Commercial. Penn Commercial. Yeah. Anybody reach out to them? Yeah, I haven't heard back yet. Because they parked back in the corner and it fit just fine. Mm -hmm. and they were easy in, easy out. And they yeah, we had them here like early too yeah. to make sure that they can get in and in um, early enough that they had the whole lot to you know swing that truck around. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I know you got confirmation from use. You said. Yeah, I got confirmation from use. Okay. Um, Danny, I had to get hold of him through Messenger, and I don't think he's using Facebook much. Dan, so, you mean uh, EMS? Cecil. C Cecil Fire Department. Oh, Denny. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> you want Denny's phone number? I'll give you yeah. Denny's phone number. Okay. Please. And what about West Penn Power, the guy you talked to? I gave him a business card with all of our info on it. He said he was going to email. He said um, he drove past last year. And his wife was kind of jagging him because uh, he wasn't at the touch of truck. So uh, he says he usually hears something about it. He's the actual one that drives the truck that brings him to there. So he has our business card. Um, I let them know we would love to have them there. And uh, he was supposed to email or make a phone call. And I assume you guys haven't heard anything yet. Now, you know what? I'll see if I can call the service center because, like I said, they don't even have a doorbell on the thing. Like there's no way to – unless somebody's staying outside, there's no way to talk to anybody. So I'll see if I can find a phone number or something. It, from McGain and Chester, I talked to Ryan. That's that Rob's brother who reached out to you. Yep. He said he, they, heard, they saw it on the news. Channel 11. <laughs> I'm like, that works. <laughs> Good old Channel 11. <laughs> Anything from uh, Lawrence? Are they, are they coming? He sent, you the, he sent the form in right off the bat. I forwarded it to you at that okay. time. All right. But I'm they're bringing the, the new truck. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Armageddon truck. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> the Armageddon um, truck. Yes, yeah, so we're still kicking away at that. We're still <laughs> trying to finalize, get more people in here. But do we have? Do we think if we only have twelve, <clears throat> we should probably still split them up too. I want to because we've got life like coming in on the ball field, and it'll call more attention to the concession stand. So. Well, um, I, it's um. See, the municipal public works is going to be down that lot too, right? Yeah, public works is going to have several pieces of equipment down there. Um, and I was thinking if we could get maybe uh, – there's too much farm and testosterone down here if, if I have all three of them here at the same time. So I want to put somebody up on the other end. Okay, that, I just that's just me. I'm all for whatever you need to do on that end. Um, so I guess real quick for food, for, I'll probably do the same kind of thing we have for the derby. No, I want to do the full menu. We're going to do the full menu. I'll be back here cooking, slinging burgers again. I don't have a problem with that. We do have cheeseburgers and everything, Jack. Yeah, I've got four boxes of uh, hamburgers. Uh, I'll get the cheese and uh, the buns. Um, I will tell you, the reason we were short on hot dog buns was Sam's was low on, on hot dog buns the day I was there. I did not get back up there to get them, and that's, uh, that's why we kind of went into a deficit. And, of course, I got detained um, a little bit longer than I planned on Saturday. So. Are we, uh, are we going to get the cheese that has the right, because remember it didn't fit, the bag of cheese did not fit inside the, um, that didn't have the right nozzle or whatever. Wait a minute, are we talking so about we nachos had, or are we talking about cheese? Burger? Nachos. So we had to put it in the crock pot. That bag of cheese, Okay. It usually we, you stick it in that machine and it comes, you know. There's four bags down there that. That, uh, that won't work. They're all the same. Well, I think we need to use them before we buy anything. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. They are supposed to be for that machine. You're saying they don't work. Not they're they're spouts. The spouts way bigger. They're spouts different. were wrong. Yeah. They were the wrong I'll size. send them back then. I mean, that's that's fine. That's... We used one. We saw three bags left in there. All right. I'll send them back because they're okay. the wrong size. I, well, yeah, I'll show you. What's, I kinda, like, it doesn't have the long nozzle but that runs down and pumps the cheese out. It, it's okay. like a spring setup. I haven't seen yeah. it. I don't know. Okay. It's different from one of the ones we had last year. All right. I mean, I if that's the it. only cheese that's available, we could make it work in the crock pot, but it'd be nice to have the one that would fit in the machine. Yeah, we're kind of in a pinch, so I just dumped it out of the bag into the crock pot yeah. so we can get by through the day. Okay. Yeah, the one box isn't open at all, so. All right, I'll, I'll return those in, in uh, um, because that's where we got the uh, machine itself. From Sam's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, said it fit. All right. Sorry about that. No, we're good. No. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Do you have a contact by any chance for them? Uh, 
If you can, just 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 go I know those to guys. Me. I used to use their storage unit when I was a drug rep for years and years. So I can, I think I still have them in my phone. I'll call them. Yeah, we have um, the Cannonsburg and Cecil and North Strabane firemen have a second event scheduled that day. So they all have to split up between the two events. So we're not going to have as many fire trucks as we usually have, you know, so. What time would you want gardeners to come? 9.30. 9.30. And to stay. Well, are you going to contact them? Yeah, I'll call them because okay. I know the guys from when I. It's till 2. I mean, they, they can start pulling out around quarter till quarter to 1 if they want. You know, okay. I mean. I thought it was. Uh, it's still 1, isn't it? I thought it was yeah, I called them till last 2. Week. No, we haven't been able to get any. I haven't response. been able to get a hold of them. Okay. okay. I talked to our guy in my plan, and he's like, I'm all for it. I'll even do it. But we can't get any of the bosses to respond. Well, I mean, if there's any kind of people you've dealt with, it, I mean, gladly send them on. I'll contact them. Thank you. Yeah, that's another one. I, you know, we're just not getting to the right people, I know. You know? Thank you so much. Hey, you guys good? Yep. Okay, moving on, movie night, June 11th, 2022. Um, we're going to start that at sunset. Um, my vote is for The Lion King. I think it's, a, we've been talking about doing a classic, you know, movie and uh, one that will entertain the kids, and this is one of them. So let's go ahead and uh, run The Lion King that day. I will get the DVD. Um, either I'll rent the one from the library or... Um, I'm sure I, I know somebody that has this movie for sure. This is the older uh, older one. The animated uh, one. Yes, the older cartoon one, not the newer one. So I guess we're just going to run with the current setup we have. Well, um, Jack was going to talk to Gary to see if we could get our sound issues resolved. Talk to who? Gary. Gary. Movie night comes around, so um, I will work with him on that. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, I'm just going to set it up and say, tell me what, tell me what's wrong, you know, because something is not communicating with. Yeah, you. something's not right. I mean, it, it, it's archaic. I know the 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 projector's old. Uh, the I mean, to have to run through that DVD player just to you know access it. I mean, it, so. Um, yeah, it definitely be a lot easier to run a <laughs> uh, computer off of that projector and then uh, and then plug that through our speaker board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yes. We have a screen and speakers, but the, we got to, we were trying to update things. And I think we updated a little too fast because um, the way the old board had it um, is with, you had everything went through a DVD player. So uh, we can only get the sound to come out of the DVD player, not directly out of the projector. So we were kind of jumping through a step and we made it work last year, um, but we definitely want to upgrade uh, to do and better things here. So especially with the potential of possibility of Wi-Fi coming in and uh, we might be able to stream, you know, offer some of the streaming services instead of doing the DVD players and the older things. So. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we will do The Lion King on movie night, June 11, 2022. Community day. Are you bringing on flash drive or are you going to have to get the DVD? <clears throat> I'll get the DVD. Okay. Well, be ready just in case. But <laughs> I might even have it at home. That's what I'm saying. One of us got to have this movie. If not, <laughs> um, the library has them. You can rent them. So um community day july 23rd 2023 uh 22 me and barb have been working on community day a little bit um we kind of want to do like a little bit of a water theme um so what i was um suggesting and brainstorming pretty hard on is you know a lot of people have always said oh you know cecil doesn't have a water feature doesn't have a water feature so uh this is kind of a day to do that so um i think we're gonna fill up a bunch of baby you know kid pools um, have a nice little slip and slide. Um, 
you know, let the kids go all out. Let them, you know, have squirt gun battles with each other. And, you know, she has a bunch of other things planned. I um, also want to do a chili cook-off. Um, so I definitely want to start getting the word out there to get your best chili ready. Um, I think we should have some guest judges. Um, I'm all open for um, guest judges <laughs> if we want to do some of the chiefs at the fire department. Any of the supervisors want to come and guest judge. Uh, I'm not a chili fan, so don't ask me. So since it's a water themed, are we going to do a dunk them and <laughs> uh, a dunk tank has been kicked around here a little bit. Um, who's going to be sitting in the dunk tank? I don't think it's been figured out just yet. So how about I'll... stush? <laughs> <laughs> so um, we'll, again, we're going to have everything finalized um, for before next meeting. Also, we'll be looking for some emails and stuff. We'll be sending out, and uh, we'll have a great day, a great time. Hopefully, it's have some great weather on that day. Okay, um, <clears throat> Dan, Dan, one thing, um, uh, Public Works has cleared all that for over by uh, Pavilion 3. So that's, that's a different water source over there. Um, slip and slide's fine, pools, anything you want to do. Cool. Perfect. Um, I did, we did get a price for a water inflatable. I don't know, I know the park has some kind of uh, inflatable rule about insurance and stuff, if I'm not mistaken, if they rent the pavilions out. Yeah, I don't know how to work on it. Well, you, I had to go through that last year. You just had to make sure it's on your insurance's rider. Homeowners. Yeah, it's homeowners. Your homeowner's rider. Um, I don't know how it would go for the township. You know? Yeah, I wasn't 100% sure. There was another option. It was a very smaller um, blow up, but it was it had like a pool at the bottom of it, and it was aimed more for smaller kids. Um, I think it was like 450 bucks, and had a three. You can buy it with a three year warranty on it. To rent these things is outrageous. Yeah. Um, it costs that much to rent it. Yeah, it, it, no, it's it's more than that to rent them. So um, I did see this option to purchase one. That if it can get us through three three years, at the end of the day, we're saving probably almost a thousand dollars if we get it through three years. So um, I, I did want to um, just let you guys know that we are. I've been looking at those kind of you know things, weighing all of our options, um, trying to you know get the best bang for our buck, I guess. Because renting these inflatables is astronomical pricing. Um, I think Stephanie had one. Let me pull it up real quick. I did not email this one over yet. Is it Behringer? It no. No, that one was. Uh, yeah, okay. There was a double lane one. I mean, it was fourteen hundred dollars just for them to bring fifteen hundred dollars just for them to bring it out, and then to set it up and tear it down, it was another five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That is that's two thousand dollars for you know what we're probably only gonna do with maybe three, four, five hours max. I mean, that's a lot, a lot of money. So um, I'm I'm kind of shying away from that a, a little bit. Um, I definitely, if we can, like I said, purchase one, even though it's a smaller one, um, I think it would still be a great hit. And if we can get three years out of it for 500 bucks, I think that's uh, big too. But again, that comes down to, which I'm sure we're gonna talk about here soon, storage and we need some place to put these types of things and um, et cetera, et cetera. So, but uh, moving on. Um, car cruise, August 24th, or I'm sorry, 21st, 2022. Jack, do we have a start time on this? I know it says 9 a.m. here. Yeah, um, they start arriving at 7. They start letting cars in uh, as they come in. So, I mean, this this is a cult-like event for these uh, car enthusiasts. So they'll be here from, I'm going to say, 7 until 8 or 9 at night. We sold a lot of coffee and donuts and stuff to them early. We sold a lot 1700 of 1700 we made uh, on the car cruise alone. So that, that's, and we didn't have the Orms uh, donuts. We didn't have the Halushka. We didn't have... Um, some of the other things that they like too. So, um, coffee is going to be important. Um, cinnamon rolls. Uh, you know, anything else we can uh, think of? I'm going to touch base with uh, Norb uh, well in advance to see what else he wants. Make sure we have the menu that they're looking for. Um, and you know, I, I I expect us to do much better this year than we did last year. Yeah, we're definitely going to run the full menu on that on that day too. Yeah. So, movie night, August twentieth, two thousand twenty-two. <clears throat> um, I'll throw out some more movies for the board again. We'll figure out what we want to do. Maybe a new movie will be coming out by that time. I'm sure everybody's sick of uh, Encanto, that's for sure. So well, Turning Red's out, so that's That's that new one that's out, yeah. too. Okay. 
I think my uh, wife has watched that with a kid. I have not seen it yet. So. Okay, Fall Festival, uh, September 24th and the 25th. Vendors, um, obviously we have an updated vendors list. Uh, Wendy and Arden, do you guys have anything to add to this? Um, they're rolling in. As you can see, we have like 68 so far. Um, I posted on social media like a couple different um, – ads for new vendors, so I have 25 new vendors that we didn't have last year that I just sent out, so that's not even counted in these, and they all are anxious to get part of it, so I think we're gonna be over 100 here pretty quickly, and we still have five months to go, so. What, uh, what's our magic number where you guys are gonna feel comfortable? 125, I mean, I, I'm happy with 125. We could fit 150 in there. That's what I'm saying, if we cap it at 150? Yeah. I th let's let's don't go over 150. At that point, we're going to have duplicates, um, and that's the uphill battle for me. Uh, and you know, I can throw my little temper tantrums all I want, but um, I, I'm, it's going to come down to me opening the envelopes and verifying that we don't have more than two doing the same thing. So yeah, when you got to look through 100 of these things too, I'm sure it gets time well, consuming. That's why I'm micromanaging the the spreadsheet. I mean, I know everybody that's on here, and as they come in. You know, like, yeah, we've got too many of those already. I haven't rejected any yet, but it's coming. Yeah, and the, like the direct sales ones, mm -hmm. I'm trying to watch those. I had to turn one away today because we already have paparazzi. So yeah. I reach out to, like, Pampered Chef, ones that, like Mary Kay, ones that we don't have yet, but, like, Color Street, done. You know, paparazzi's done. Um, but... Okay. Well, like I said, I'm trying to watch those to make sure that we don't get, you know, we're limiting a tell them all, we're limiting it one first come, first serve. So, um. well, I mean, we can go two that do the same thing. That's direct, always direct set, like, well, direct sales. I mean, yeah, that's sort of, I mean, they can't compete against each other. We can put them on different ends of the park. That's not a problem. Um, I, w I don't want two T Mobile trucks here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, yeah, that yeah, type yeah. of thing. Lots of the direct sales, though, it's their company requirement that they not compete against each other. Yeah, like Color Street, we only have one. You know, I mean, I've got ten one. that want to end, but we have two new food trucks that we didn't have last year. So I'll just check in then on the ones we haven't heard from that we had last year that isn't on here yet. Well, if we haven't heard from them, I'm ready to mm -hmm. move on. Yeah, somebody kicked Steve Hines in the butt. All right. I mean, he's been here for 30 years. Who? You know, Steve Hines. Country. Uh, country accents? No. What's the. Country fixings. Country. No, the one in Ridgeville. Countryside. Con country style. It's, yeah, it's country style. All right. I mean, he always comes in at the last minute. Yeah, he does. You know? Oh, I've been here 30 years. I know you have. All right. But you don't, you know. So, yeah, somebody rattle his cage. Okay. <laughs> Not a problem. But yeah, definitely, Wendy, I want to hit up like five food trucks, actual food trucks, and then do one to two, probably two dessert trucks. If we can do a funnel cake, or if one of the food trucks even does a funnel cake along with their regular foods, I'm okay with that. I think that's the only thing we were missing last year was like a deep fried, even though we did have the one people who were doing deep fried Oreos, if I'm not mistaken. But if we add on to vendor lists, like the one guy, people who were doing cotton candy, and you know, I don't have a problem with them. And we haven't heard from them. But the actual physical trucks, I think we can fit five back in that courtyard area. Um, that courtyard area was fantastic. Um, it really worked out. I think mm -hmm. we need to plan for that again this, this year as well. All right. What I'm going to try to do, Jason and I are going to try to keep people off the, the slope because I've heard uh, several people have lost merchandise because of the slope of the, the hill. So, yeah, we're going to expand that courtyard area uh, and make it more of an L shape so people can walk back through there. What has happened is that area that they filled did sink, and it's holding water right now. So uh, Public Works is going to have to uh, fill that in. But by you know by the end of uh, September, it should be fine. Yeah, that's what the vendor mapping. Also, instead of just spray painting the numbers on the ground like I usually do Monday morning, can we do like a little flag setup? Like already, even if yeah. you got that, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Like I think I would direct people a lot easier, and well, they won't be easier be, for they can actually see it. Yeah, right? and they're not be so dependent. Yeah, you know, a little the, more sophisticated. I think yeah. it shows we spend a little more time. You know, so. and I'm still trying to find that mapping, so I'm trying to find a mapping software that's not going to break the bank or whatever. And well, one of the, the things I can did, use for different events. I took Google. Uh, Google Ma Maps, um, Google Earth, and uh, blew it up. My, my problem is we don't have the big printer yet. Um, we paid for it like two months ago. It still isn't in yet. But 
Uh, once it comes in, I can make it a, like a wall size, and then we can actually take like land navigation and actually you know uh, mark them out that way. It's going to take a while, but we have plenty of time. Is it an overlay? Oh. Okay. Are you good at Photoshop? <laughs> <laughs> She's in. Welcome. Can we vote tonight? Yeah. I'm an IT guy, but I'm not a Photoshop guy. I'm not Photoshop either. <laughs> and I was IT too, but I never used Photoshop much. Okay, on stage is me. Um, I was so busy with the fishing derby and stuff, I did not contact the bands. I will before the next meeting for sure and have them booked and ready. Are along... any of them committed so we know they aren't booking somewhere else? I have not committed with anybody yet. Um, I will also work on the kid events in between the acts, and I believe we had one, maybe two people reach out um, that I want to contact to um, about the in-between acts. So I will have that wrapped up by next meeting for sure. Dan, did you reach out to that, that TAP group? I did not. No? No, they're on my list. Do Danny. we have a problem with the train guy doing games? We'll talk about that here in a minute. <clears throat> Steph, uh, children's events, um, we're going to add on to this. That's what we're actually going to be talking about right now. Um, we have two invoices in front of you. One is Mike the Balloon Guy. This is for... <coughs> um, the petting zoo and pony rides, airbrush tattoos, and the rock wall. Now, the rock wall we only did um, one day last year, and it seemed to be a pretty big hit. There was kids all over that thing all the time. Um, so we have a quote for both days, and these are the extended hours um, that we were kind of looking at, too. So they're going to be there an additional at least an hour, um, and that even includes the um, petting zoo and the pony rides. They said – To expand. Yep. So we have extended hours on all of them. Um, what we need to do, um, as you see the total and the balance due, um, we need to put 25% down to hold our spot. So um, if the board feels comfortable and this is what we want to do with the extended hours and um, all three events for both days, um, I can, we'll vote to put this on the agenda and then we'll vote to um, pay out the 25% to hold our spot for fall festival. I move to put it on the agenda. Hang on, hang on. Along with that, we also have um, the AAA Express. This is our train guy. Adam is his name? From Adam. The, Adam. Um, he has extended the hours as well. Um, and we have a quote for that. And we're going to do the – he needs the full quote, right, on this, Jack? He did 1740 plus um, – what did he say for the name? 1440 total. Okay. Do we want – okay. But we're, we're okay to do the total on this. Okay. So um, what I what we're going to move to do is I'm going to move to put these both on the agenda. Um, can I, I'll make the motion to put both of these bills on the agenda, the AAA Express being a total of 1440 and Mike the Balloon Guy being of 1605. Um, first, we'll take public comments. Do we have anybody have any public comments on that? Or does the board have any concerns or questions? Mm -hmm. I just so we know, he wanted to do two games instead of just one. He did one game last year. So he's deducting his vendor space, yes. right, from his fee? Yes, correct, from his fee. So. And these are not free-to-play games. These are be about the only two items that kids will actually have to pay to participate in. Everything else, if all the sponsorships come through, um, we want to keep everything free for the kids, obviously. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they man it. What? And they actually man it and everything, right? I contacted them last year about showing up, and I didn't hear anything back from them. This guy is like a package deal with, like, the rock wall, the pain we rock, mm -hmm. you know, he's giving us a break on some to, if we do more. Um, but free is nice. I mean, he's only giving, like, a 7% discount. Since you uh, made the motion and, and uh, seconded to put it on the agenda, I'm going to need an updated agenda um, with that motion on there. 
um, and then once you get it to me, I'll post it on the website. So um, okay. at this point, you guys can go ahead and vote on it. Um, okay, I'm down as the second on the putting it on the agenda. So does anybody want to do a motion to vote on it? I'll make a motion to vote. Um, second. I'll second. All in favor for these two invoices, say aye. 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 I'll try to get a hold of the National Guard, and I, I, I checked the Coast Guard last year. They were still kind of him on around. We checked with the Coast Guard for a touch of truck because they got that big boat. It's kind of – it went to the superior guy, and it kind of fizzled out from there. So um, I'm all for them helping and being there, obviously. Honestly, if we had one at each end, it would be still be busy because there's nothing else for teens. Who did we have a touch truck last year? Do we have the Coast Guard? We had, no, we no. had. Um, uh, Do we have the Army? The Army they brought a Humvee yeah, in. Army. Yeah, they brought a Humvee in. Yeah, we had uh, Salvation Army too. But yeah, they, they brought in. Uh, yeah, they're coming. Yeah, I, I, they the they tank. just had the canteen truck. That's right. Yeah. Yep. The tank. Did you call our Army contact, Jason? Not yet. No. I didn't get through the whole list. Okay. Well, did, you, did you happen to get that sheet? What sheet? I said put the numbers all on them because I can't. Well, I sent that to you. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll talk. Okay. Or you mean because you couldn't open it because you don't have Excel? Well, I couldn't, I couldn't get the printer to go with the numbers on, so I didn't know if I said ask if you could print one off and okay. just have it all on. I'll one. do it when I get home tonight. That get way, rid of the extra easier, rows. So I ain't trying to add numbers, and it's just easier. Okay. Um, Okay, next, obviously, we have a full list of our sponsors. Obviously, we want to push for as many sponsors as we can. We'll start hitting up um, any contacts. Anybody in YouTube land who uh, has anybody who would like to sponsor these events, everything goes straight towards these kids, pretty much. Um, the more money we get in, the more we we're putting out. Um, signs, we'll get with the signs. Jack, do we did, remind me of his name again? I keep wanting to call him Jason, but his name's not Jason. Tommy. Tommy. Um, she, looking at that list, kind of will mean you, you and I were discussing about the different tier levels and where yeah. we can put that and <laughs> almost maybe one we can re almost reuse every year or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, he said he, there's no problem. He'll, he'll do the stickers that we could put on if somebody were to come in and sponsor midway through the year or something. So, yeah, it would be similar to what we have, but he'll do the, the logos and stickers uh, that we can just add to it. Perfect. Do we want to do some banners like the ones that like Grange gave us for free, but like for other people have them made? Well, ba the banners are more money than the signs. It's yeah. based on the amount right. of the donation, and so far we only have one that has a banner, right? So just or Grange is eligible. One? Is the, the only uh, actually? Who else is eligible? Uh, Range is really the only one, I believe. <laughs> for for a big one, yes. The rest are all signs. Okay. The rest are, what, the two by five? <coughs> you have the letter. I, I got that letter somewhere. In the email? As a yeah. side note, does anybody have any problems if I take the signs off the uh, cyclone fence of the uh, basketball court? For the fishing derby? Yeah. No, they're good to come down. All right, I'll take them down in a minute. Volunteers, um, we'll work with the high school, I assume, a lot again. They were huge, huge, huge help last year, them volunteers. So um, hopefully we can get some volunteers again for the fall festival from them. Dan, can I interject here? Yeah, um, we're ready. Uh, Agency on Aging wants to help. Um, they're, I don't know, hesitant, I guess. I don't know, but I'll keep talking to them. Uh, I'll, you know, get people over there as much as uh, we can. Um, I just, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get five to ten people there at any given time. So um, it sounds good during the week, but when they realize, you know, they got to get up and come down and that type of thing. So um, I'll keep trying, and uh, we'll stick them in wherever they, you know, wherever they, we can fit them in. Yeah, let them know about the um, touch truck. You know, usually we're not too, too crazy busy on touch truck. You know, car crews were crazy busy. Fall Festival, obviously, we're really busy. But, uh, you know, touch truck's even a nice event to start off at, too. Okay, concession stand, obviously we'll run a full menu with the Lewski and the Ornums. Um, we'll have all that for the fall festival. Uh, trail of Treats, October 22nd. 
Probably not much to update on that, correct, guys? No, I don't think so. Light up night. Um, kind of kicking this around too. I would like to start brainstorming a little heavy. We're still a couple months out on that, but um, I know during our downtime with movie nights, I'll be brainstorming pretty good and probably a lot of bad ideas with maybe a couple good ones every now and then. So um, status on the little free libraries. Uh, nothing has moved forward. Um, Wendy actually have a boy scout who's supposed to be interested in doing this for an eagle scout at least i was told he was given my phone number um and i have not heard from him yet okay but um so just leave this on here for now in case he does because he's going to be 18 soon so he needs to jump on this pretty pretty quick so um as of right now i have not heard back from him even though he does have my phone number so i will reach out back out to the guy who gave him my number and just see you know hey you know, we'll see if he can get any updates from him. Okay. Um, any new matters to bring up? I think you uh, all received the email, um, the communication between uh, Supervisor Cassiola and uh, yep. the yep. township. Um, yep. As it stands right now, it looks like we are going to be moving forward with that. Uh, they are going to be taking that tree out. Uh, and extending the building, they're going to take the man, or the garage door out and uh, building on, uh, so that we have a lockable um, area, you know, 12 by 12. Um, so when it, when that's going to start, I don't know, uh, but I would venture to say it should be up by mid uh, mid summer. The only recommendation I think I would have um, is if the possibility of any kind of loft storage area. Also, if they can um, incorporate any kind of shelving to put in there that we can put our totes right up and on, you know, so things aren't on the floor, ideally, you know, that's that's best. Um, are they gonna be putting a garage door on the front of that so we'll have a big garage door from the outside or is it just a man door from the inside? Well, that was my question. I, I saw them say man door. Yeah, that's gonna be probably gonna a be man door from the inside. Um, the only garage door is gonna be on is, is on the, as you're facing it on the left-hand side. So what if we get the golf cart? How will we get it in? Can you get a double <laughs> double open door instead of just a regular man door? You think? I can ask. Um, that, that that again that again that's probably down in the future. Like I said, um, just I just to get around the park a lot easier. Um, yeah, obviously, just a little golf cart, even a used one. I'm not looking for anything brand new, but um, ideally, yeah, even if it has a little cart bed on it. You know, to get around, like I said, get around the park easier. So I would, I just don't want to have to see them doing any kind of double work. I mean, if they're taking that one garage door out, even if they just bring that out to the front or off to the side, you know, that way we have a way to get in and out or, you know, it's, it's up to the township what the township feels best. But uh, yeah, we're very grateful for the definite storage needs that we, that we have obviously really need, so. I'll make that suggestion. Thank you. On an interesting note, Jack, do you remember what, a year and a half ago, we discovered I could not email any of the township supervisors through? Yes. Well, guess what? You can <laughs> I'm not getting emails from the other side either. I didn't get Tom's, and I didn't get Darlene's. I got Tom's. I didn't get it. That was one that Tom started. Yeah, I had to forward them to her so she can get them. For some reason, she doesn't receive them from the, the Cecil Township side. Two years ago when, the, when this came up, we had uh, half Novell, half Outlook. All right, it was a hybrid email system. Um, we have now, we're now full Outlook, or as we like to call it, Lookout, um, <laughs> like Lookout Below. Um, and it, it's functioning the best it can. Um, I can have uh, uh, Joe look at that and, and find out why it's not going externally. Does anybody else have those email problems, or is everybody else getting it? I get them. I got them. Well, I mean, I'm the very few. <laughs> you know, who's, God. who's your provider? It was only me. I have Xfinity. I have Comcast. That's who I have. That yeah, shouldn't matter. That's what no, we it, have. We knew there was a problem with me, and we, so we have Comcast. Too. Maybe now that you're down to the one provider and don't have the, maybe he'll be able to figure it out. It's not going your spam folder or nothing either. No. Huh. So the township's not using 0365 too, like our little account? Yeah, we're using 365. It should be. Yeah, it, there should be no reason. Unless somebody put a block in there, Wendy, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, that's somebody's what they, blocking that's it. What it's, Jack, that's Jack did it. The last time, whenever they discovered that's I what, That's what it sounds now. like to me. They, they already put a hard block but in there. But they couldn't find it. Wow. <laughs> huh. 
Let me enter for a little bit. Somebody else did it. Dun, dun, dun. Who'd you make mad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does anybody have any uh, other matters to bring up? Okay, meeting adjourned to 721. Jason, what time do you want us there? Like, that's next Saturday, right? Yeah.